castle of alchemists, a safe haven for scholars, engineers, philosophers, and people of science shunned by their society. Nigh impenetrable, it protects its inhabitants from outside forces, but this attack came from within. Unknown invaders swarmed from portals within the castle before we could act, triggering the castle's defensive mechanism and trapping us all together. As Legio Ferrata, army of the castle, we responded swiftly. However, we lost contact with anyone who entered the castle. There are only a dozen of us left now, under my command, with a special mission. Locate and retreat our most valuable asset, Bellator de Alchemia. First of his kind, an alchemically enhanced soldier of the Legion. His mutation cycle is not yet complete. However, we have no choice but to awaken, for he is our only hope to retake the castle. It's very, very strangely silent now. Uh, like, not even footsteps. <laughs> of course, this is an early access, and I do feel that prologue definitely moved a little bit fast. I'm going to have to, in post-editing, read that last line I didn't get to. It doesn't look like I can interact with anything in this room. Um, I'm going to try firing a bullet. I don't know if bullets are... <laughs> the game... I'm so slow that the game decides to give me a hologram. Uh, anyways, I don't know if bullets are limited. Okay, there is definitely sound. That's good, because I was kind of wondering if my sound was broken. So, space bar to jump. Well, let's see what happens if I walk on in. I cannot. Interesting. So it's sort of like a intelligent or contextual. So what if I dash to it? I assume I'll just end up stopping there. Yeah. So I pretty much have to be touching it, I assume. Okay, regular space bars jump backwards. What if I'm facing this way? Okay. Alright. Oh, what? wait, I saw an arrow. Oh no, that was just the contextual. Alright. E. I, I don't know what that did. And there's no tooltip. Uh, so like a checkpoint? What did I do? I can't E over here. Can I fall in? No, doesn't look like it. Q. Alright, Q is rocket launcher. E I, I I don't know what E did. How fast can I fire? Okay. Tab. Alright, tab switches to my hammer. Alright, there's no quick tab. Meaning, like, that took that long. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing, and then I'm gonna hit tab. Yeah, there's no quick tab. It's He sort of has to finish his whole animation first. Alright, that was the tutorial. Commander, we need to defend this position to secure our retreat to the base. No more than 15 of enemies should pass this position. These are the available resources. Resources replenish each wave depending on your success. These are the defensive structures you can build. You can enter cell mode by holding down the left shift key. You can construct powerful towers in elevated positions like this by clicking on the tower button statue. Okay, that's too many things all at once. Let me try and see what the, the selling thing is and the resources. Let, let me take a look at all of this stuff. Uh, all right. Um, there's towers. Okay, I'll try to remember this. You can check the type of enemy that will come in the info panel here, as well as their route on the minimap. Click here when you're ready to start the next wave. Good luck, Commander. Okay. So here we got uh, enemy path. All right. Barricade costs 25 of this resource. I assume. Okay. And this is let's click this. Oh, well, I clicked it, and I don't know what it does. Okay, it's a tower of some sort, and I, I don't have the technology or unlocks for these question marks, or they aren't developed yet. Let's go and spend 150 on this. And... Direct enemy forces. Interesting. Well, I could possibly... 
okay, I can't place anything on the bridge. The bridge is safe for them. That that's unfortunate for me because that means that uh, I can't zig zigzag them there. And I'm I'm assuming that even if I were to place bridges here, that it wouldn't fire. But we'll try. So what I'll do is let's see here. Do I have enough resources for that? We could try. Okay, I can dr click and drag that. That's pretty cool. Can I undo some of that? Because I I I I. I no, doesn't look like it can. I mean, it kind of works, because I did want them to go near that, but I also wanted to try some of the spike trap. I don't think I can undo this. Acceptable number of enemy breaches. If it reaches zero, you lose the battle, so that's the number of lives. So I am curious to see if this uh, will be able to shoot them, but probably it only shoots here. It is an arctic swordsman who is weak to fire. Can I seriously not sell these buildings? I'm clicking those buttons, nothing happens. Clicking these, can't do anything. Alright, I guess we go to the next wave. Can I close that? Yeah, I can. Probably jump that, I assume. Yeah. Can I shoot over the wall? Okay, they can also stab me over the wall. Okay, I just laid a mine, I think. I don't I don't know. So these have cooldowns. It's Q does rockets and E does yell. I don't I still don't know what that yelling does. Does it restore like this mana or something? Twenty-five may be acceptable, but not to me. Tower damage for 5,000. I did 7,000. Items did 4,000. That's probably like my abilities. I was just shooting. I guess I get 10 potions and 4 food. I don't know. Welcome back, Commander. Our group successfully secured the Iron Legion barracks at the Outer Rim and have established it as our small base of operations. Alright, so E does not work here. E was the button I used to go through the tutorial one page at a time, but not here. Uh, that's unfortunate. I'll try spacebar and enter next. You may find me in the war room, Commander. Let me know when you're prepared and we can choose our next step. Spacebar, enter, nope. Master Jurian at the Armamentarium would like to speak with you, Commander. It's recommended that you go and see what he needs. Oh. Okay, I wanted to explore the town, but alright. Hello, Commander. Glad to see you in one piece. I am Master Jurian, headmaster responsible for your mutation cycle. We dedicated this chamber to our personalized needs for mutations, combat training, and gears. Here you can review the details and select your mutations or combat training. You can equip your combat gear from here. There is a limit on how much weight you can carry. You can check your carrying capacity here. Now, unfortunately, we currently don't have anyone who can craft experimental gear for you. If you manage to rescue someone with the necessary skills, you'll be able to craft your own weapon and gear in this room. Commander, welcome to the war room. I'm here to help you plan and prepare for attacks against the enemy. Here you can choose a level to begin a mission and view relevant information about it. For the moment, our access is limited to the entrance of the castle from the outer rims. As we advance, new areas will become available to us. Here, you can review your trap and equipment loadout for the mission. However, as we currently do not have anyone to operate the workshop or craft items, our options are limited. Our primary objective is to rescue Trapsmith Master Oslanen, as her expertise will allow us to construct more advanced defensive measures. Okay, can I go back and see everything that you just made me pass? <laughs> yeah, you're going to show me all this stuff, but not even talk about it or let me look at it. Alright, that's the... Okay, and that's the workshop. So this is nothing more than a glorified menu for those two pictures. Armamentarium, okay, yeah. Mutate! Probably can't do anything. Uh, clicking this does nothing. Clicking this does nothing. Okay. Armory. Pedra crossbow. Clicking this. What's that? Okay, so I can choose between a crossbow or a blunderbuss. 
I mean, why not both? I got two R's for a reason, game. <laughs> Explosive trap and blast. Okay, so that doesn't change that. Uh, we'll try the repeater crossbow just to change things up. I don't know what that button does. Healing syringe. Okay, that's what it. That's what it is. Well, it showed a green image, and there's like a green flask down here and a red flask down here, but the syringe itself is red. Shoulder cannon, single blast, one use per wave. All right. Take a look at training. Hopefully it's not just a tutorial. Ode escape to return to base. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting reload. I, th I think they could make it a lot cooler. Like, if they're going for some sort of a... Um, what do you call it? Theme or concept? They need to make it more badass. Eight hundred. All right. Can I reload preemptively? Yes. I don't know what these three buttons there are. Let's try tab. No, that's not. That's not has anything to do with my attack. It switches to it, but I... right click. Okay, so right click loads what the like a rocket or something. Then left click does that. And when I'm out, that's it. Okay. Interesting. So can I reload with right click here? No. I I I'm, I I mean I feel like since right click doesn't do anything like aim down sights, it doesn't make me move slower and more accurate. They should just go ahead and let you reload with right click since it's basically the same thing for this. Reload with right click. But yes, I'm assuming this is health and this is mana. Does it trigger when enemies approach or does it just trigger naturally? It looks like probably when enemies approach. All right, let's try. Let's try this out. Challenges. Deal one to 10,000 damage with melee, ranged, or equipped vials. I don't know what equipped vial is. Kill 25 enemies with electric. Yeah, Arctic Swordsman, Arctic Raider now. Is is that the, the exit there? Is that it? Alright. Um yeah, it doesn't look like we get a turret this time. What's the point of this guy then? I guess it's just sort of background images. So let's try some spike traps before I use up all of my, my resources this time. I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, so I can lure them up here, it looks like. I was going to say I probably couldn't build on the stairs, but then I saw the grid, so I assumed I was wrong about that. Um, let me think here. I mean, it's probably not that difficult. I'm just trying to make myself the most efficient build possible. I'm trying to think if I could, like, lure them into a whole range. It doesn't matter, because I'm not using a blunderbuss right now, so... Um, what we'll probably want to do is... Can I shoot down? That would actually be pretty good. Let's just go ahead and launch and see what happens. Okay, I, apparently they're moving through the bottom.
I don't know why dude stopped swinging. Oh, is that my stamina? Is that why I stopped swinging? This hurt me. Yep, or I think so. Either that or they spliced me. That's fine. I'm not that panicked about it or anything. Why can't I heal though? I only used it. I thought I only used it once, but maybe not. Ten percent more resources reward if you manage to survive the wave without falling. I did not allow any enemies to pass. If I did not allow any enemies and did not die. Okay. I got more resources. All right. And yeah, I see. Uh, now I can build there, down there. Psh, all right. My fault. Does it matter if I put it like this instead? Anything here. Well, this is about good range for crossbowing, so maybe I'll leave this area unspiked. Yeah, I can't seem to deconstruct that or anything. Put a spike here. And I'm out of resources. We have a new enemy. The Arctic Javelinier. His weakness is eyeball. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is. It won't let me hover over it or anything. I'm assuming his weakness is being seen. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to hit one. Hurt me. I'm a noob. I don't like that I can't tab to the other weapon immediately, that it takes me a second. Okay, standing in this doesn't seem to hurt. I don't know what to equip. Oh, that's part of my healing thing. But I only start with two. 
So I'd probably have to redo this map once I have four vials. Kill 25 invaders with electric. I, I don't think I have electric abilities, so yeah, it probably means I have to replay the segment with future powers. Master Traps Lest Oslinen has been rescued. Okay, I didn't click anything. It was just that fast. Commander, the workshop is now operational with the help of Master Oslin. She would like to speak with you regarding the creation of advanced traps for use on the field. Also, we started to record your performance. You can check your accolades from here. I am so glad you arrived in time to save me, Commander. I'm also surprised to see you alive and well, to be honest. As I operate the workshop, I will keep any traps we have operational. As you clear more areas, we can find more resources and plans to make new traps. Here you can choose which traps to add to your current loadout. We can only carry 8 traps at a time because of our limited movement in the castle. Those traps have a variant version. You can choose which version to use here. Some variants have basic upgrades while others change the trap completely. I'll go in with the scavenge team to gather supplies and plants after you clear areas. You just need to finish missions to unlock new traps. We have the ceiling dart trap. Slows down enemies and affect the air for a certain period of time, 150 damage per second. 150 damage, period. Okay, I, I don't know how many times it hits an enemy, probably just once. And, but I don't know how often or uh, how many seconds this attacks for. So it says 150 damage per second, but how many seconds is it going for? Three? Did I unlock anything? Probably not. Oh, I can click and hold. Could I always have done that, or is that just because I have no skill point now? So increase my critical chance, dodge chance, total stamina, weight capacity, kill 10 enemies within 3 seconds of rage. Okay, they're probably this one. Your total hit points are increased by 150. How, I don't even know how many hit points I start with. Like, probably 100. We'll go with this one to get 10% um, hit points back. And then we'll start putting points on tough skin so that 10% means more. Vile training. Throw two additional bombs with reduced effects. All right. Why is this glowing? We were just there. I didn't I didn't see any reason for that to be glowing. There's nothing glowing here. Let's take a look at this leaderboard. Tran is number 12. I don't know if these are actual players. Um, possibly because they all have dash one. Can I change my ID? No, it's probably just Tran. Oh, wait, what's this? Tran is at the bottom of the leaderboard. 